This is the way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me once again for another review and another unboxing. There is another unboxing, another die-cast car, another 1 and 18 scale. And as you can see by the box and by the car, those of you who know what this is, they already know. But those of you who don't know, this is a 2020 Shelby GT500. Okay, this is supercharged. The new Shelby they got. And this is my future ride actually because once I get rid of my Hellcat I'm probably gonna go and jump in one of these babies okay so as you can see it's your typical 1 and 18 scale they come in various uh, various colors this is a blue one I like the blue one my favorite color is blue with white striping uh, they also got one that made the GT Spirit they got one by Auto R. they got one made by a few other companies but I decided not to go too crazy and just get a regular Meister version of this particular car. So let's get down to the unboxing. So one thing I like about Meister is that the fact that every car that they come and uh, release, they come with these rubber bands. Now I removed the one from the hood, but you got one going across the hood. And also, like most of the other companies, they have a one that's covering the doors from, from doors being open uh, for, to pre prevent from the doors being opened. But otherwise, uh, let me just take this off and we're going to get down to the review of this car. So those that collect die-cast cars, um, they're pretty much familiar with the quality of most of these cars and car, uh, car makers, uh, or should I say car companies that make these beautiful die-cast cars. Now, Maisto is one of the companies that actually a company that is affordable for everybody who just want to start up and start collecting these or just begun collecting these cars. Now, back in the days, I remember there was a company called Barago. I don't think they're in business anymore, and they used to make these cars. These cars used to go for about, I believe, nineteen ninety nine, uh, twenty dollars, or thirty dollars a pop, and that was back then. Back then, it was Maisto and Borago. I think those are the only companies at that time, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, leave a comment and then uh, tell me tell me if there is any more other companies I forgot to mention. Uh, but so they have plenty of companies, including some new companies that are popping up, that are actually, you know, actually trying to get in the market on selling these beautiful uh, beautiful collectibles. Anyway, um, I decided, not, like I said, I've decided not to go with Auto Art. The only Auto Art that I have is a Lamborghini Countach, uh, and that's the only Auto Art that I do have. Everything else I probably, uh, I do have from Maisto. Uh, as you can see in my previous video, I got the GT uh, 2017, or should I say 2019 Heritage Edition for GT. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that, but we're gonna talk about this beautiful Shelby GT 500 now that those of you who also know these cars they know that the paint job and sometimes on, on these cars is not so great unless it's like the limited edition like the the one that are the G, GT GT I believe that it has, comes with a better paint job but most of these cars don't have such a great paint job or detail compared to high-end models like auto art or even GT spirit okay because the companies are making plenty of them, so they're not trying to spend much time on the paint job of these cars. Now, as for detail, uh, I do like the detail. The, Shel the GT500, the Shelby logo is pretty spot on. The badge is very nice. Okay. The lights are spot on. Pretty good job on that. The hood pins, very nice. The hood scoop or the hood vents, if you want to call that. Okay, now let's get to the carbon fiber wheels. Now, mind you, this is the $118,000 version with the carbon fiber wheel package, okay? These are your carbon fiber wheels that actually on the remodel would cost extra $18,000. Now, when it comes to Brembo, I'm trying to get you guys that Brembo detail. They, they, you could see the Brembo logo on, on those calipers. Uh, the 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 brakes looking really nice of course the the logo of the cobra also really nice now let's get back to the back of the car okay now here's the back of the car at the minus 10 they could have done a better job on these pipes don't like the way they looked very 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 poor poor job they did on these pipes 
Now, if you check out the GT uh, Spirit version, the pipes are much more detailed. But there's a way you could fix this with a little Sharpie and you just thin it out so it looks much more better. And I'll be doing that later on uh, when I have a chance to do so. The lights are not so bad. The trunk area is not so bad. Okay. Pretty, uh, I do like uh, how it came out. Pretty good. Minus the paint job. The paint job could have been better. I do not mind paying $50, $60 just so the paint job could be a little bit better. Now let's get down to the under the hood details. Okay. Try to get you as much detail as possible. Sorry about that. It's a little dark in here. But a really good job on a supercharger. You can, you can clearly see what it says. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. A little too dark. I apologize for that. Just give you that little uh, detail. I'm trying to get you guys a decent view, but I can't unfortunately. But not such a bad job. The air box uh, for the air filter looks really good. The intake box, if you want to call it that. Otherwise, not such a bad job. Now, mind you, those who know GT Spirit, their cars do not open any doors, and they also have a resin, so which means the doors are closed and cannot be opened, including trunks and the hood. Let's get down to the interior of this of this car. Is it sealed? I'm gonna try to open this car. Okay, so let's get down to the interior. Again, don't expect too much out of uh, my uh, out of, out of my still cars. They're gonna do their best best possible job to make this decent looking, and it's not so bad looking after you can see the shifter, uh, the the circular shifter that comes in all new Ford vehicles, and you also see the navigation. You also see the Cobra logo on the steering wheel, and you can see the tachometer. Uh, look like look like it's supposed to look like it's supposed to be what it's supposed to be. Not so bad. Let's see if Ricardo seats are visible. It doesn't show Ricardo. Um, not really, but you can see the Cobra logos on the headrest. Not so bad. Uh, not a bad job. These guys, the doors closed pretty good. Good job in the car really like the car but for what you're paying not such a bad car at all i always say you you get what you pay a nice logo of uh, shelby gt 500 uh definitely i would recommend to get this uh, for those who don't want to spend extra money on expensive more expensive models uh so if you're looking to, to get one definitely get it if you don't mind having a minor things like exhaust tips or the exhaust being more but otherwise if you could overlook that, this would be a one for your collection. If you don't want to waste over $100 on any other car. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.